Mm. Oh, do I have to use that? No. Great. I, I'm, I'm... Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, but you've been busy talking to a lot of people and sort of wearing your voice out. I can, I'm, I'm just sort of 15 minutes happy, happy. <laughs> um, Fiona asked me to, to come and uh, do a little bit of a welcome. Uh, I had the privilege of doing a more casual welcome last night to everyone who was here for the barbecue. Uh, so to those of you where there may be a little bit of crossover, um, it's all good, don't worry. My content uh, may sound the same, but it feels different. Because <laughs> it's a new day. And, and, and it's not even going to be remotely the same because th there's all sorts of Greek salad going on up here and it'll, it'll just draw on whatever I was feeling when I was walking around. But Fiona asked me just to start by saying, well, Australian City Farms and Community Gardens Network, what's it all about? Why did it come together? 1996, that's got some track record. There's been conferences. There's been gatherings like this. This is the fifth. And people have been involved with that and people have carried the baton. It was to help gardens that were under threat of being closed. It was to share stories. That's really what this is about. And that whole timeline there is one big story. And people at this end of the timeline can draw on the stories of the baton holders from this end of the timeline. And, that, and that's a very important part of why we're here. And Leonie will like this because when we were in the car last night, I was dropping Miriam back to Bondi Junction. And she was in the back of the car and I was talking about what an event is about. And she shared a quote with me and I don't know who said it, but I'll share it. And we were talking about country and place and land, and she said, country is a place of meeting and connection rather than a land of borders. And our conversation went on to say that the power of social media and the power of internet today is incredible, and it's doing wonderful things, and I'll share some of that in a minute. But there's something different about being here at a gathering that we can forget. And over the next two days, or if it's just today, if you're just here for one day, or if you're here right through the weekend, what, what the difference is, and, and I think this is, this is the beauty of the effort that each and every one of you have put in to get here, is that when you're here in person, it's not just the presentations. I, I didn't bring a slideshow because I didn't want to go down that road because this is just a happy, happy start. Right? And I thought there's going to be lots of good slide things come on. I just wanted to keep it a bit loose. But when you're here in person, you get to see someone. <laughs> I know Hannah, but talking to her on the net is different to talking to her <laughs> eye to eye, face to face. And what's the beauty of the conference is it's not just the content that a presenter is going to give you as a prescriptive example of what they've been up to. We all need to share that, that's awesome. But it's those moments throughout the day when you're queued up waiting for a cup of tea. Immediately after someone's talk where you're sitting there and you're going, oh, that kind of reminded me, Dave, of this person that I know. And Dave, oh, well, yep, can you give me... That, you can't get that as a prescriptive email sitting at your desk. You can, and you can send it out to someone, but because they're sitting here like this with a million and one things on the desktop, they'll answer your question very prescriptively. They won't be in the space of this environment, which is a big hug fest. <laughs> we're all just together. And, and we're together as a hug of a community, which is what it's been set up for. So we can use the tools of the internet, but I think it's really important to cherish these moments because the sharing capacity 
here is beyond the borders of a computer, frame, uh, computer screen. And, you know, if it's 13 inch or 15 inch, and whether it's a Mac or a PC, and all the palaver that comes with that, we're, be, we're beyond that. Today, I'm in your screen, like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can talk to me, or you can run. <laughs> You can sort of go, oh my God, I think I need a cup of tea. <laughs> I'll be back with you in a minute, Costa. So I, I wanted to sort of just reflect on that because really today it's, it's an affirmation, it's a, it's a reaffirmation of what we all do. It's what the group does as a network, but it's what each and every one of you do as individuals that make up the group. And it's powerful. It's, it's incredibly powerful. And there's things going on constantly. I mean, I went home last night and at about 1 a.m. an email came through. And, and this, is, this is what it's about. This is what it's about. Listen to, listen to this one. It says, hello gardeners, one and all. I mean, that alone is a, is a, that's a vocabulary that's changed because of the work of the people on this end of the timeline handing the vocabulary down so that as you people at this end join the timeline, saying gardener, as someone was saying in the conversation last night, gardeners in schools are just going, oh, yeah, you tripper, go out in the garden and play and we'll give you all the kids that we don't want to deal with. And <laughs> like, that, that was the context that the, the pioneers and the, and the elders of the movement dealt with. But all of this work now comes down to the point where it's, hello, gardeners, one, on, one and all. I sign off to people in emails of, of all different stature and capacity. And I write, not with kindest regards <laughs> and fondest malarkey. I, I say, mulch. <laughs> I write, compost, microbes. And it's just part of a surreptitious underworld movement to make this vocabulary work. And that is as powerful as anything. Because when you get invited to a compost ball, that's messing with the mainstream. <laughs> I say, I'm going to a compost ball. And I put it out there on the web and said, I would like to be someone's handbag to go to the ball with in 25 words or less. And all these people wrote in and it was judged by the compost revolution plus the National Organic Week, oh no, compost, uh, International Compost Awareness Week. Just putting that out there, people go, what the hell? <laughs> uh, International Compost Awareness Week, let alone a compost ball. People were like, <laughs> and people were coming up. They were saying to me, what, what are you gonna do at a compost ball? <laughs> and I go, oh, well, you have to get dressed up as your favourite piece of compost. <laughs> and then we're all going to get in this big bin and heat up. <laughs> People are like, are you serious? <laughs> like, so, so just that alone is like an elder of that timeline saying, carry this, carry the compost with you. So this email, it came last night. And, and it's just fantastic. Hello, gardeners. I, that, to me, is the key of the email. I love that. Over the last nine months, we've noticed a real momentum building in the gardening arena. Someone's talking about that. Tick. With new community gardens establishing, people getting involved in gardening programs such as Grow It Local and record numbers attending composting, balls, uh, composting and gardening workshops. Okay, just listen to that. We're hearing from the community, however, there, there might be a slight gap in terms of communication and networking opportunities between these passionate, like-minded people. So we've come up with a plan. People are out there doing stuff. And this is two councils are looking to team up. Waverley and Wallara are looking to team up again and develop a sustainable gardening network similar to our successful schools and sustainability educators network. It's about bringing like-minded people together, hello, to provide an opportunity to share ideas, experience, skills, stories, 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 stories. That's all it is, one big, big story. 
share stories, and maybe even cuttings. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> Messing with people with the vocabulary. Putting images, putting story images in people's face. This is what you're doing. And what I like about today is that we're coming together to fuel up, to energise, to draw on each other's powers and experiences, to take that with us. It, it, it's, it's a jungle out there. It's, it's not saying this is, this is all happy, easy days. There's, there's hard work in the trenches. So, so it's important to recognise these days and come together. So the idea is to establish an Eastern Sustainable Gardeners Network that, that would become self-sustaining. Would you be interested to be involved? Blah, blah, blah. But anyway, the point is, they're the networks that we then filter into. Make those connections and drive this rich resource, this compost bin of ideas. Place that into these groups and say, yes, fantastic what you're doing now, hook in with us. That's what the groups wanted in 1996. So as a way of an introduction to today's event, I want to, and Fiona's asked me, to introduce you to the national executive that are, help, that are helping to put this message out there. And each and every one of you can be involved because you are involved. And be involved at whatever level you can, particularly signing off with microbes. <laughs> Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi. Put Hi-Fi after it. And then you should see the emails that come back. What, what's Hi-Fi? And then bang, there's an opportunity. Tuck, 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 put it out there. These are little ways. <laughs> so there is an executive that's driving this. And it's kind of appropriate that the tallest leader of the executive, the president, Hannah Maloney from Tassie. Can you come up, please? She <laughs> didn't know I was going to do that. Jane Mowbray is the vice president from New South Wales. Where's, is Jane around? Come, come out. I could just give you a wave, but I think it's nicer if you come out. From Queensland, John Brisbane. Is John here? Oh, here he is. And that's no um, coincidence that he's from Queensland. John McBain from WA. I don't think John's here. Yet. Oh, okay. Where's Russ? Here he is, come up, Russ. Take photo this way. Take a photo this way. Emily, where's Emily? Here she is, Emily Gray from Northern Territory. Can I say, I was up in the Northern Territory uh, for the Top End Sustainable Living Festival and we had a final night afterwards when we were down on this beautiful wharf having dinner and in the middle of dinner, Emily went off and held a phone conference with the executive for about an hour. And I mean, that's, that's the level that we're dealing with. Simon, is Simon Ross? Oh, here's Simon, yeah. Another man who's dealing with the cold of Sydney down from Queensland. And Nell, Nell who's just arrived, Nell Smith from Tasmania too. Now, while we've got everyone up here, I just want to thank... What's that? No. Kate. Oh, Kate, come on. Kate, come on. Where are you? Come on, Kate. Yeah, come up, Kate. I think we have to move around to Fiona. Yeah, well, see, I'm getting, I'm getting, I think I'm coming up to Fiona. And Fiona, Fiona sort of penned this for me so that I wouldn't miss anyone. <laughs> Come on, Ben. So within moments, uh, everyone will be up here. It was, it, was, it was just kind of a way. It was a way of uh, just shuffling seats. 
So, so this is this is a driving force. Um, Fiona, Fiona is is going to be sort of part of the next little intro. So I, she'll get embarrassed if I drag her up for two. So, Fiona, hey, jump in, Fee. You, just just jump up here, please. For a photo, it's nice to get a photo. Because we need to recognise this. Jump in behind, we need a super wide macro lens. So as you look up here at this photographic opportunity, just draw off that energy. Draw off that energy because that is a powerhouse. That is... Fantastic. So, so yeah, please draw off, draw off this wealth, and don't, don't, don't forget to drop an email from time to time. Just wave your flag, remind the executive of what you're doing, so that they can help promote it as well and drive this whole thing forward. So, thank you to the executive. Now, who's been involved with organising an event like this? Uh, ever? Yeah, okay. I can see, I can see a couple of lines, a couple, <laughs> couple of wrinkles, a couple of wonky hairs. It's damn difficult, let alone when you're talking about a national network and drawing people together. So thank you all of you that have come from around the country. But to the organising team, goes without saying, websites, Red Joe's, powerful force, Fiona, Jane Mowbray, of course, paperwork, billeting, stand up. Yep, stand up. Emma Daniel, who's been involved with looking after all the catering. She's actually catering as we speak. Elise Sanonuevo, who's been involved with the programming. Is Elise here? Where is it? Alice. Alice. They're out busy, so. We'll, we'll have to point him out later. Russ, of course, who's uh, been firing up all the tours, which are going to be really beneficial to, to go on these tours and meet what's going on the ground. Kat, is Kat here? Kat Zemitska. Kat's with Gary. So you heard Kat. She's not here. Oh, she's not here. OK. And Susie Hunter. She's not here. OK. So, um, so that's... Uh, that's a little bit of a background on the group that have organised it. We need to thank the sponsors, Ramwick Council, who provided this venue for nothing, which is really helpful to, to, keep, uh, to keep costs down because it was an incredible... I mean, to come and get this wealth of knowledge for, I don't know, a hundred or something dollars, it, it's just... A, I mean, that's almost absurd. Green Patch Seeds, Pure Harvest Drinks and um, Agape, who? They're not sponsoring Oh, okay. They're providing food. I'll take that one back. Can you just rewind? <laughs> no, they're good. They're, they're, they're great anyway. So, and Food Connect, of course. For the, oh, they're caterers. Okay, that's the second, uh, second category. Now, um, how are we down for time, Fee? I don't want to... Two more minutes. Okay. Two more minutes. Um, I made a point last night and I think we've covered it in terms of that exercise about we've all arrived here. We've all come here across land. Even though now it's with an aeroplane and we don't recognise our movement through people's land. But we're all here. But the thing that, the thing that I want to recognise is that all of the work that you're doing, no matter how big or small, no matter what battles, it's all about taking the efforts of those before 
and driving it into the paradigm for those that are coming. So the work of all of you elders, all of that hard work, events like this are the opportunity for everyone to draw on as an open source and to project it further and further so that we can use the media that I was talking about to spread the word, to spread the ideas. And that was a list, and I won't go through them tonight, but today, because we want to get on with David's wonderful into it talk. But that, that's a list of things that are going on in Sydney in, the, in two weeks. Two weeks. Everything from Food Fairness Alliance activities about World Food Day and food security, a sustainable communities plan, young farmers looking at where to go from here, composting initiatives, seed saving, of course. There's National Organic Week, paddock to plate events, transition, recent launch of Transition Ramwick out of Transition Sydney and Bondi. There's good living festivals, YFM, the youth food movement, are doing wonderful things. They've got a bike ride coming up where they're riding from community garden to community garden. And this is drawing in young people, youth food movement, real, food, real film nights where they show films. This is bringing the young people in. And they're the ones that are going to take the baton forward. Wild seed stories. Diego Bonetto walking people around the Cooks River learning how to eat weeds. Adam Grubb releasing a book about weeds in Melbourne. This network is growing. It's under there. And each of your activities are part of that. And whether it's art in the streets, I met Jackie who's working with Keep Australia Beautiful. And the point I made with Jackie was that when your groups and your organisations create initiatives, it makes it easier for the councils who are the driving on the ground force. It makes it easier because you take it there and you say, here's a proposal. You do all that hard work and then they can add their requirements to it rather than it being such a big thing that they're too busy to take it on. So the work that they're doing is handing it to councils. So all of your work is changing the playing field. And don't underestimate it. Don't underestimate it. Anything that I'm doing is an osmosis of what you're doing. So in my little way, if I can take it and put it out through my platform at the moment, then there's the opportunity. So all of your work comes through portals. Share your portals, open the portals through organisations like this. I'll finish off by saying... Remember that the smallest seed of information, of content, of inspiration grows. Place it there, support it with your activities. Don't be under, don't be underestimating anything that you do. The fact that you came here, the fact that we're all together, there's an energy associated with this. Ecotopia, this event is one big lunch break on the road to transforming place and creating culture. Thank you for making the effort to be here. Absorb all the wonderful initiatives that are about to begin with David. Have a great few days and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you.